So in front of us, we've got yes. a nice bunch of product. Mm. What do you use for each application? Because they all look, well, two of them look the same, and the other two bits look pretty different. So what goes with what? So we've got a few different things here. Um, everything that you see here that, that isn't kind of cable is is a transmitter. So this is going to get the audio from your your voice or from whatever it is that you're mm -hmm. marking up to our receivers here. Um, we've got, what have we got here? This is a, a 100 series transmitter. So 100 hit series handheld transmitter. This is the entry level of G4. Okay. And uh, this particular one has a mute switch. You can buy it without a mute switch. Why would you want the option? Well, if you're going to be singing live, you don't want to accidentally mute the mic out because that's going to be a disaster. Yeah. But if you're doing a more corporate type application, so I don't know if you're at a school or if you are speaking at dinner or something like that, you want to have the option to just mute the mic out. Um, that's obviously something that a feature that we want to yeah. be able to provide. Um, and then if we come across over here to this this black handheld, this is actually the 300 series transmitter. This is um, only comes with uh, a mute switch. This has got a slightly wider tuning bandwidth. It pairs with a wider tuning uh, receiver. And this is very much aimed at the corporate world. So right. this has got a, the, um, the mute switch on it. If you want it without the mute switch, then you have to look at the 500 series transmitter, which again is wide tuning. Uh, but it has some slightly different architecture uh, within the RF side, and it doesn't have the mute switch again. Okay. So if you're on the stage, you uh, don't have the ability to mute out. So which you just is needs to be a bit more well rehearsed with what you're doing. Or, you know, generally the way that I think about it is if you've got somebody riding the desk, if you have a sound engineer, then you don't need to worry about the mute switch because yep. they should be pretty hot on muting out your channel for you. Um, but in lots of corporate applications with a, a hardwired DSP or something like that, that isn't an option. So a mute switch becomes uh, essential at that point as well. Cool. Uh, so that's kind of handhelds. They look very familiar. They look very microphone-y. Yeah. Uh, Comfortable this, with them. Absolutely, yeah, we know where we are. This is a body pack transmitter. So I'm going to pick this up and, uh, and just show you kind of what's going on here. So uh, again, if you've ever seen our G3 systems, this is very, very similar. Um, two AA batteries in the front, which uh, kind of opens up there like that. And we've got a three and a half millimeter jack in the top, which is where your microphone goes. Mm -hmm. And microphones here, this is where we get into some slightly different applications. We've got a, a standard Lavelier here. So this normally just clips on, you might know it as a tie clip microphone or, or something mic. like that, or yeah. a lapel mic. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There's a few different words. I like to say Lavelier because it makes me sound posh. Lavelier is a nice about. word. Lavelier. I think yeah, it's, it's French. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but that normally clips on onto your, your shirt or your tie or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and this is what you normally see in, in broadcast. So if we were doing this interview without handhelds, for example, we'd probably we have, have lab mics on yeah. because they're kind of unobtrusive and they don't get in the way and they look kind of good on film. Um, the I guess the disadvantage with that is they're going to be quite far away from, from your, your mouth. So these capsules are, are what we call omni-capsules, which means they pick up sound in a 360-degree yeah. sphere. Absolutely, omnidirectional. Right. In a 360-degree sphere all around um, the, the capsule, which if the, the further you get away from the, the source of the audio, mm -hmm. so your, your voice, the slightly more challenging perhaps that's going to be to engineer in a live situation, which is why we've got these head mics as well. Uh, so these are the SL head mics. Again, Omni capsule. This is actually an MKE one capsule, so it's super, super tiny and discreet. Uh, but the big advantage with an Omni capsule on a head mic is that it ends up here. So you need far less gain to get it to sound good. And yeah. you know, the Omni capsule is almost the most natural sound that you can get out of a microphone because the, it's just picking up absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. So a spoken voice uh, through something like that is going to sound absolutely pristine. Your speech intelligibility is going to be the best that it could possibly be. So if you're doing big lecture halls or anything like yeah. that, or you're doing, a, I don't know, you're at a summit or something like that, that's exactly what you want. Precisely, yeah. This yeah. is almost the more corporate offering. We do have headset mics that get used in live as well. Right. Sometimes they're omni, quite often they're actually cardioid. So a cardioid mic is, is like this, where it's just picking up audio in the direction that the, um, that the microphone is, is facing, essentially. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, there's that we have a lot of different options for, for that type of directional capsule. So we can have a cardioid, super cardioid, which is even tighter, hypercardioid, which is tighter again. Um, 
the entire point of the evolution system is that depending on what your application is and you know what your challenges are, mm -hmm. you can have a whole different range of capsules on your transmitter here. But in, in headset world, you're, you're kind of fixed and, and the Omni capsule is normally the favorite because it's ultra discreet and it, and it just sounds brilliant. Sounds brilliant and it's ultra discreet. Yeah, but absolutely. You've got, it's literally something that covers everything that you 100%. can need to do. Yeah. So even if you end up in a situation where you've got a wired handheld and you want to make it wireless, that's where this SKP comes in. Right. And that literally plugs onto where you would normally plug the cable into your, your wired microphone yeah. and turns it into a wireless mic. Oh, wow. So even if you are in a situation, this happens quite a lot in schools where, you know, there's just a receiver and there's mm -hmm. a, a plethora of, of microphones that have been around for quite a long time. This is really useful to, um, to, to kind of make something wireless. Yeah. Also used a lot in broadcast as well. So shotgun mics on the end of boom poles, for example. Yeah. You don't want a big cable trailing down. Chuck one of those on the end of it, and uh, you get problem to solved. Yeah, absolutely. So, and this is all within the evolution range. So, even just there, we've spoken about what maybe six different applications for this stuff, yeah. depending on what's uh, what's going on. And the constant for all of them is the receiver rack. So, this is the kind of bit that doesn't change very much and just does its thing. Uh -huh. And the transmitter side is where your customization. That's where happens. that falls in. But you've absolutely. got a completely scalable product. Absolutely. So whatever the application is, you can go, I need this bit here for that, I need that bit there for that, and you can get the end solution that is required. 100%. Yeah. That's exactly correct.